National News Literacy Week is our commitment to helping you become more informed, more aware. It is a crucial skill for people of all ages. Teenagers know more about technology and social media than most people, but does that translate into knowing how to tell fact from fiction? We worked with the journalism class at McClintock High School, and this is their story. It is no surprise that teens are always on their phones. What might surprise you, though, is what they're doing on those phones. They're getting their news from Twitter, 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 Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. A recent study showed that 54% of teens are getting their news from social media platforms. We found students are not just looking at these platforms, but are turning to adults for more information. Sometimes in the morning, my mom will just watch the news and I'll hear about it and then I'll like look it up later. Emily is one example as she gets most of her current events off her phone. It's like right there, like hundreds of articles on everything. While students get most of their news off of social media, they realize the information being presented to them is one-sided. Because like all news sources are biased, it feels like. I know how like um, one-sided like the internet can be. I try to see everything from different people's perspectives before I form my opinion. So how do they filter the truth? We spoke with Christy Roschke, media literacy expert from Arizona State. There are really some pretty simple tools and techniques for helping you decide if something is credible. The rule number one is resist the urge to share that piece of information, pass it along, further pollute the information landscape until you've done a few things to determine whether or not you believe it. So stopping and Googling, you know, 30 seconds worth of research to cross check something in most cases can give you a pretty simple answer. Then you might actually seek out fact-checking websites. Some students will be eligible to vote in the upcoming election, and determining fact from fiction is crucial. It's a really, really important skill yeah. to be teaching our kids. Yeah, and that story, by the way, produced by a high school journalism awesome. class. Awesome. Pretty they did amazing. Great. Our thanks to teacher Karen Crane and the journalism students at McClintock High School for their hard work on that story. You know, and if you want to learn more about news literacy, tune in here all week long or right now head to abc15.com forward slash news literacy. You're going to find a ton of resources there.